Co. Stamper is Depp Valder Hair Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and it's getting close to Father's Day, so I thought I'd uh, do a couple Father's Day gifts for you. The first one we're going to do is going to be a wallet that is actually a gift card holder, and it's quite simple. I'll give you all the measurements on my blog, um, but let me just tell you about this one. This one is done with um, our brand new zigzag embossing folder. That's what I did the outside with, and it's all sponged with chocolate chip. I used our new um, little pieces embossed die, and I used these two pieces out of there, right here and here. And I also used on the front a new stamp set called and many more, and it has quite a few stamps in it, and they're all sayings, and so they're they're pretty neat. On the inside, you can decorate it um, the way you want to. Uh, you can take and you can put. Um, gift cards in here. You can take and put notes from each one of your kids in here along with a gift card. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of things you can do. You can add more um, pockets to it if you want. Each one of these is um, just one little pocket. And um, like I said, it's very easy. So let's get going. I'll show you how to do it. The first thing that you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is, and like I said, I'll give you all the measurements um, in written form on my, my blog, but the outside cover is nine by three and a half. So um, I took a piece of nine by three and a half inch cardstock and um, I scored it at um, right here at four and seven sixteenths and nine or four and nine sixteenths. So there's just um, a little bit of a, an extra gap in the middle so that it can go over all of your gift cards. If not, it would not it would not close. So we need that extra little gap in there for the gift cards. So that's our first piece of cardstock, and um, what I did on the outside was I took my gorgeous grunge stamp set, and I just um, I just took and I um, speckled it with one of the stamps from in there. And then I'm going to take my new, it's called a Project Life Corner Rounder, but it's a corner rounder for anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that up in there, and I'm going to punch all four corners. So now all of my corners are rounded. Okay. The next thing that I did with this, and I don't know if you can see it, but what I did was I did a perforating line to make it look like stitching all the way around. So let me just show you real quick how I did that. I took my Stampin' Up! trimmer, and on here is my rotary, my rotary um, arm, and in here is my um, perforating, this is my perforating blade right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that in there, and um, I just put it in on, uh, let's see, that's a quarter of an inch, so this must be an eighth of an inch right there. And what I did was I just perforated it down, and then I turned it and I perforated it this way, and I went all the way around my piece, giving it this adorable little stitched look all the way around. Now you don't want to go too heavy because you don't want to actually um, take it off. But um, So I rounded the corners, I perforated it, and I um, speckled it with my gorgeous grunge stamp in um, chocolate chip ink, and this is chocolate chip paper. So my outside piece is finished. Now we need to work on the inside. So on the inside, what I decided to do was to take um, my insert, and my insert is... Um, eight and a half by three and a quarter and I scored it at four and a quarter. So it's an eight and a half piece of cardstock um, cut at three and a quarter and then I scored it in half at four and a quarter. And I speckled the inside of that also. And then I took these pieces and like I said I'll give you the measurements on my blog. Um, but I took these pieces and I speckled them also and these are my these are my actual inserts right here. Now what I need to do is I need to uh, glue these in, but before I did that, I do want you to notice that um, I did sponge all the way around everything. I sponged everything on the outside. It just makes it look so much nicer. Um, it just gives it that more um, 3D look. So what I did was I sponged everything on the outside. So I'm going to real quick sponge this last piece because I just wanted to show you the difference between this one and this one. This one just kind of blends in and you can't even see that there is a pocket. But if I take my sponge and I just quickly lift up my cardstock and just sponge all the way around, it just gives it that nice 3D look. Alright, it's that fast, that simple. Alrighty, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to um, adhere this. Now what I'm going to use is our new Fast Fuse. Our new Fast Fuse, actually, I like it better than um, or equal to um, our Sticky Strip, but this one you don't have to monkey with any of that um, 
red paper getting stuck to you, not coming off your hands. It's just, this is so much easier. Um, I had a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once you get used to it, you're going to absolutely love it. Just see how fast that is? And look at how good it holds. It just holds, and these things don't even come out. Even when you're, when you um, pull them in and out like this, they don't, it doesn't come undone. So it is as good as sticky strip, I think, and um, it's just much easier to use. So um, once you get used to using it, um, it works really well. So what I did was I put adhesive on all three sides, not on the fourth side, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to just attach it to the uh, side of this right here. And I'm lining up this piece right here, okay? And now I need to put the last pocket on, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my Fast Fuse, and I'm using my um, silicone mat so that I don't get my paper underneath it dirty. And I'm just going to take and add that to the bottom of this. So now I'm just going to add that to this piece right here. And if you have anything that's sticking out, any of your glue that's sticking out, just rub it off. It's not a big deal. It comes right off. If you need to and you have a lot of it, just use your adhesive remover. So that's our insert. Now we have to take our insert and insert it into here, just like that. All right. But I think what I'll do is I think I will sponge around the outside of this one just to make it all even. And like I said, it's very, very fast. And we're almost done here. Some of our new products, um, all of our new products are really good, but um, I'm just loving um, all the ones that I've started using already. So now what we need to do is we need to adhere this to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Fast Fuse again, and I'm just going to run a strip all the way down all the way down and each side like this and another side right down here okay so now we have all sides done I'm gonna close this just like this here's our bottom make sure we want the bottom to the bottom I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna line it up right inside here and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna end up closing this just like that okay so now what I have is my wallet when I open it up it opens up just perfect and now we have um, our pockets to put our, our um, little gift cards in or notes or whatever you want to do so again like I said this fast fuse holds really nice um, and then you can decorate the outside of it any way you want like I said I took and I um, perforated it I thought that looked really a lot like um, a an actual wallet and um, stay tuned because I have a, a ladies wallet that I'm going to be doing tomorrow so um, I hope you enjoyed my post. Hop on over to my blog to get all the measurements and all the details on what I used as far as product goes. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Take care and have a great day.